Formation happens before each afternoon meal period. The company guidelines pass accountability up to a member of regimental staff, then each company follows out to pass pertinent information. The cadets enter through the north end of the wardroom and wait in line to grab food and drinks from the buffet area. The cadets sit at assigned tables with no more than six per table. There are two separate meal periods to keep the wardroom as uncrowded as possible. Announcements are given at each lunch period to pass information to the Corps of Cadets. Cadets are required to ask the regimental communications officer for approval beforehand. GSI's Logistics Division. Um, starting tomorrow, we're going to be doing a letter writing workshop out in the uh, north end of the wardroom. Um, for the uh, CS event I talked about earlier about writing letters to uh, veterans overseas and uh, active duty service members. So keep an eye out for that. Thank you. Fourth class Bryce samples, big body Bryce, a happy birthday. Yeah. Water. A little bit more. Like that. Yeah. That is so much brighter. Hey everyone, first class Anna Kevill Cook. First class Jenna Manning, women's Hello. leadership. Uh, on this Thursday evening, there will be another women's equality panel at 1930. The link will be sent out to the each cadet will wipe down their place at the table before leaving. The cadets take their trash to the trash cans and exit the wardroom. The second group waits outside for their meal period to begin while the first group exits. Like, this like, second class for us lining up outside. 